Hey doing everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name's Cole and in 2024, I set up Alt with my creative partner, Simon. Alt Cinecam, short for Alternative Cinema Cameras, driven by a pure passion to redefine cinema cameras. Whilst we admired the progress made in the industry, we felt there was room to push boundaries further. And so we began this journey to create our own cameras. Our first concept and design was the Alt Cine Eclipse. This camera drew inspiration from the Blackmagic Micro, a camera known amongst a professional niche because of its Fairchild dual gain sensor. We knew rehousing this camera was going to be a complex project, so we prepared ourselves for the insane challenge, knowing the project would demand innovation, serious attention to detail and lots of money. In just two short months, we unveiled the first working prototype of the Eclipse, a groundbreaking Blackmagic box camera modification. This marked the creation of the first fully professional 3D printed cinema camera mod. To get vital feedback, we put the camera in the hands of fellow filmmakers, including Simon Cade from DSLR Guide, and the response was overwhelmingly positive. This experience proved that 3D printed cinema cameras could rival and even exceed the quality of conventional off-the-shelf cameras. Inspired by this validation, we doubled down on refining the prototype and began developing the advanced upgrades to take the Eclipse to the next level. Building a cinema camera from scratch is a terribly complex thing to do, but we achieved it and we're happy with it. Doing the drawings, the rendering and the dummy model, that was the easy part. It was going through to the electronics that was really stressful. It took a lot of manpower, a lot of hours and a hell of a lot of money. Once you finished it, you then got to do testing for months and months just to make sure that the camera is ready for professional use. And there was no one else that we would rather test our camera than Neo Grey Films. So I hope you enjoyed that video from Neo Gray. Absolutely amazing cinematographer and just my hats off to him. And we're so glad to partner with him on this new venture. You can go over to his YouTube channel because you're going to see a lot more regarding OG and his work is absolutely phenomenal. Him and the other creators he works with, absolutely phenomenal work. And the link is down in the info. The body of the Eclipse is roughly the same size as a Komodo. It's 120 millimeters wide, 
105 millimeters tall and 130 millimeters in length. In the center, we have the custom OLPF made by Auxini and a custom twill weave carbon fiber plate specially machined by Pixel CNC. On top of the unit, we have six custom buttons, including the first record button. These are all made out of chrome. Then we have the two function buttons and the jog dial, and these are used for customizing the screen. The function buttons can be used for false color, focus peaking, punch to zoom in, and many more. At the top of the unit, you will see the pogo pins. These are used for powering proprietary accessories. On the left of the unit, we have the SD card port, a full size XLR jack, a 3.5 millimeter mic jack, and a tally light that will let you know whether you're recording or in standby. We also have six quarter 20s and an Ari rosette. The side panel, like the front, is carbon fiber and made by Pixel CNC. On the right hand side, we have the speaker, the second record button, SDI out, and a LANC port for remote control, and a USB-C 5 volts power out. And just like the other side, we have a carbon fiber grill and multiple mounting points. On the rear, we have the antenna for remote control, an SDI out and an SDI in for time code, a HDMI port, a headphone port and two SBUS connectors. These are used for controlling the camera from other devices such as drones. And finally, we have a 12 volt DC out port. The USB-C and the DC port on the rear can act as parasite ports. This means that they can provide five to 12 volts of power externally. So if you have a monitor, a follow focus, a microphone, or any other device, they can receive power from these two ports. You no longer need to wire up separate batteries. In the beginning of 2025, we've got some incredible plans. We've got a new ARRI coming, which is a cross between old and new tech. And we also have the CinePi camera. Now the CinePi is gonna be the first camera that you build at home with only a screwdriver. And we aim to bring this 4K raw shooting camera to everybody for a extremely low price. It's one of our goals because on this channel, we don't fuss over sensor size or IBIS or all of that kind of stuff. What we want to do is just empower people, give people passion to go out there and shoot. Regardless of your financial situation or if it's just a hobby for you, everybody should be able to go out there and just shoot whatever they want with a really good camera, with a good sensor. We just want to keep things really simple and we plan to do that from now going forward. So thanks guys, thank you for watching and thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and I will see you very soon. Later.